Real quick before we get started tonight, guys, a special sticker board shout out goes to Robbie over at Bang for Your Buck RC Reviews. I've been watching Robbie for a number of years. He's been supporting my channel for a number of years as well. He's recently eclipsed a thousand subscriber mark. Congratulations again, Robbie. But uh, Robbie does a lot of awesome things over on his channel from the budget minded end uh, of all things RC crawlers, bashers. He's even got some drones on there. All things, like I said, product reviews that you know don't cost a lot of money uh, i urge you to go check out his channel i'll link it down below hello everyone welcome back to hey dad rc and tonight i'm going to take a quick unboxing of a crawler that's been on my list for some time and thanks to my mom and stepdad on christmas uh they picked it up for me as a as an awesome christmas gift so mom and paul thanks a lot uh, to the car, we are talking, of course, about the FMS, FCX24 Power Wagon. It's a 124 scale RC crawler, and man, FMS is doing a lot of good things, uh, at least in my mind. But uh, yeah, to save you taking out of the box, I already did that. And as you can see, I got the blue one. If the body looks a little funky sitting on there, it's because I've already got it loosened up because I had a heck of a time getting this body off and they claim on the box um rapid car body separation uh, i guess if you got short fat fingers that doesn't include you um i had a heck of a time and it didn't help easy, uh, either uh, opening up the box and pulling everything out there is no owner's manual i assume that that was just an error um i'd have to believe just like any other fms that i've ever gotten they do have uh owner's manual but mine didn't have it in there. Uh, double check just to be sure. But uh, yeah, before we take a look at this truck, uh, we'll take a look at everything you get. Here is a look at your radio. It's small, you know, uh, even short stubby finger like me. I can uh, do one-handed driving if I want. Um, you've got uh, your trim adjustabilities on there, servo, throttle reversing, all those good things. Uh, channel 4 button here down below controls the lights. Should control the lights. There we go. And uh, this channel here, channel 3, is for your uh, two-speed transmission. I think this is in crawler mode right now. Awesome, Jeremy. Okay, that's in crawler mode before. <laughs> it was obviously in fast mode. But yeah, really cool. I just, I love the power wagon look. Uh, to me, I think the thing that really sets us off the most, uh, I love the wheels on this truck. I just think it looks so cool. And they seem like a lot of fun. They seem like pretty durable rigs. Um, you know, but a lot of things inside this truck. It's two-speed transmission. It's got portal axles. And uh, for me, at least at the, the 124th scale, this is a first portal axle rig for myself. Uh, full belt, full ball bearings, metal gear steering, servo, four-link suspension. Uh, this truck has just got a lot of cool things going for it. Uh, in the baggie that I got... All different kinds of decals, um, a variety to choose from of license plates and, and decals uh, for the side of the truck. We're definitely going to put some of these on here before I run it. Here you've got that uh, fifth wheel, and I assume in there is a brace to put it on the back. We'll be doing that. Could also be what part of that is, I believe. Uh, the cage just sits right back here behind the body. Some tiny screws. Uh, looks like some shock collar, you know, adjuster, um, spacer, things for your shocks. More decals just says power wagon. Probably slip one of those across the, on the hood there. And uh, you get your charger, USB charger. The output here is uh, is 1,000. And your um, classic T-style wrench. That is everything you get in the box. 
Minus uh, the owner's manual, like I said, which I didn't get. <clears throat> no big deal. That's what Google's for, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's kind of late. I don't want to take a ton of time on this uh, and bore you guys to death. But this thing just looks so darn cool. I really like the looks of it. All the videos I've ever seen of it, it just seems like a very entertaining um, truck. I mean, the details, you've got uh, little windshield wipers here. Um, got your snorkel over here. It just, it just looks really cool. Well, it's got the FMS, they call it the Power Dash S130 motor. Uh, the battery you get is a 380 milliamp hour two cell 5C LiPo. Like we said, two speed transmission. The shocks, uh, just about as they all are, are on these small ones are friction friction dampers. Um, I'm okay with that. Having that doesn't bother me on the smaller trucks whatsoever. Uh, like we said, four link um, plastic drive shafts. But uh, yeah, obviously two servos because you've got one to switch your transmission. But this thing looks cool. Uh, I think it's going to um, be a lot of fun to drive and do some videos on. And uh, obviously probably the first run we're going to see on this will be at the Boneyard. I have not given up on that series, guys. Uh, weather has just been crazy. We were hit with a crazy snowstorm. Uh, it hit here on Christmas Eve and snowed throughout the day on Christmas. And uh as much snow as we got, the Buffalo area got a lot more. But the biggest problem with the winds, the temperatures dipped down uh, to the single digits. Wind chill factors were um, darn near minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit. It was miserably cold. There was no way in heck uh, over my long weekend that I was going to be able to get out and do any kind of RC content, which is disappointing. But uh, right now they're calling for the weekend to be unseasonably warm uh tomorrow's friday it's going to be almost 50 degrees i got to work but the weekend is looking i think 40 so i should be able to get out there get some stuff done on the boneyard i've got another kind of side idea that i'm thinking about for the boneyard and i was going to ask you guys your opinion but i think i might just do it and see what happens um but this isn't the only thing i've got to share with you i'll do another video um for my birthday just before Christmas, uh, I was gifted a couple of awesome RC cars by my girlfriend and son as well. I had that video recorded, uh, first look video, but the quality of the video being done um, here on the bench, I didn't like it because I shot it with um, another new Christmas gift I got. And I've been having my eyes on this Insta360 uh, Go 2 for quite some time. And finally got my hands on one, but I, I assume just like most action cameras, um, they're not the best uh, to be used indoors. But uh, hopefully in the coming year, we can get a lot of awesome outside footage shot with this camera. It just seems like a really cool unit. Uh, more on that later, you know, when the time comes, maybe I'll try using it uh, as a secondary camera on the indoor crawler course as well. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for the... At least my first look at the FMS FCX 24 Power Wagon. Uh, once again, huge shout out to my mom and stepdad Paul for getting this for me for Christmas. Um, I'm pretty well happy. This thing just looks really cool. I can't wait to get it out on the course. I can't wait to get it outside. But uh, like I said, a lot more content coming. King Sling is still down and out. I am still waiting on uh, a few more parts. Um, that I can do to get this thing put all back together. I'm looking at somewhere next week I'll finally have all the parts and hopefully I'll be able to fix it when time permits. But uh, So yeah, got a lot going on. I just have not had a lot of time and the weather has not been the best. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. As always, I'd like to uh, thank you for taking some time out of your day to check out my videos. And until next time, everybody stay safe. We'll see you around.